everybody. Welcome to the mukbang. We're just gonna eat. Go for it, Jess. Eat like, anything you want. I, I start? Yeah, you just eat. Jess doesn't even know. It. It to win it. Jess doesn't even know what a mukbang is. Oh, a mukbang is you just eat on top. There's Do we have like a time limit for how fast we can eat this? Food? No, no, you, you just, just eat, eat it. <laughs> That's why I want to do mukbang so bad. There's no rules. I love you too. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I like that you got me a waffle. I got a waffle and pancakes and hash browns and English muffins. With Cholula? I got, I got Cholula. What was your yeah. story? Okay, so I went in to get this and you order from the hostess because it's a to-go thing. And I was ordering from the hostess. She was super cool, super chill. She, I walked in, she was like, oh my God, Neo is just here. I was like, Neo? She's like, like the singer and started singing a song. I was like, oh, that's cool. And she's just like, a, what's the song? I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's just, he's a, he's a singer. She just sang the song. So. I didn't remember. It's not like I recorded it. I don't remember the song, but I just was like, oh, cool. That's not part of the story. I mean, it is part of it, but it's not the main story. So anyway, moral of that story that I just told is that she was like super chill, cool. Like I, she asked what all the food was for because I clearly didn't know what I was ordering. And I was like, it's a mukbang, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, that's so rad. That's so cool. And she started talking about like, YouTube challenges and stuff. I sit down and about 10 minutes later, this other lady comes up kind of off, but no one you would cross the street to avoid walking next to, just like a little weird. Mm -hmm. And she's, what, have you not done that? No, no, I don't think so. Have you not seen a crazy person and you're like, I should just cross the street for my own safety? Okay, yeah. Like with the kid, yeah. Yeah, so in but, LA, in but LA. But she seemed slightly fine. So uh, the hostess is checking one guy out and she's like pacing behind the guy. And then she looks, the hostess looks up and made eye contact with the crazy lady. And the crazy lady was like, why are you looking at me? Why you gotta look at me? Do your work. Oh, you got no work? Are you that lazy that you're not doing any work? Don't look at me. I know I'm attractive, but geez, go look away. Don't, you're not allowed to look at me. Was it me? No. And I was like, well, and the hostess didn't say anything. So like it was silent and there's like five people standing around. And then the crazy lady went off again. She's like, man, God, that's so annoying that you stare at people when you should be working. Everyone was just like, what the crap? And no one made a move or a noise. And the crazy lady turns around and looks at me and looks like, right? Like gives that like validate me look. And I went, oh no, don't look at me. You're being rude. If, you, if she can't look at you, you're not allowed to look at me. And she put her earphones in and goes, I can't hear you. I have my earphones in. You give back off a bad vibe anyway. And turns around and like, then the manager comes over to check her out. Cause clearly he wasn't gonna let the other hostess check her out and checks her out and then she walks out the door and I see the hostess just walk to the back and I was like, oh, she's about to cry. And then she came back and her eyes were all puffy and I was Aww. like, are you okay? She's like, yeah, it just sucks that like, I'm at work so I couldn't even like defend myself or like say anything, you know? And I was like, I'm sorry. She was like, it's okay. She just like started choking up again. And I was like, people suck. People suck so much. And this girl's just sitting there doing her job, looks up and this crazy lady attacks her verbally and she can't do anything about it. That's because so she's on the clock, so it would be against the rules if she said anything. This is freezing. <laughs> yeah, it's always cold. But we need to explain why we're doing a, this Denny's. Why Denny's? We're doing Denny's because Jessica wanted to do Denny's. <laughs> I want to do Denny's always. Denny's is so amazing. I don't care if it's cold. Look, they had Cholula. Like, you went to a breakfast place and you were like, can I have some Cholula? And they were like, yes, here it is. They weren't like, oh, we have Tabasco. I didn't know what not Cholula equivalent. was. Cholula is the best hot sauce ever in my life. I thought it was a food. I have a little squeak left. You haven't, seen the, you haven't seen the viral video, Baby Says the Word Cholula? Baby Says the Word Cholula? No, not at all. Best title for a video ever, not clickbait. <laughs> Wait, I remember that because I remember when it came out, I was like, what is this? And we could not what figure out is what to name <laughs> Was that really what it was titled? Well, the T is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, actually, yes, it is. <laughs> Look it up. She's the only one with a video titled Baby Says the Word Cholula. The only video on the internet, which I think is what you were going for. No, I don't know what I'm here going for. You were like, no one else will ever title their video this. That's one of the where you and like stare at it, like, and you're like, what do we call this? Yeah, video? that happens with blogs a lot. And Parker says Cholula. <laughs> No, it's Denny's. And no one beat By it. By the way, I feel like 
You said, did, did that happen? Yeah. I thought you just said Denny's and I was like, she knows what's up. No, no she said no, IHOP. I said IHOP and you were like, Denny's. <laughs> you just read what you wanted to read. Okay, IHOP is like way more expensive, number one. It is. Diners are expensive. But you order, that's why I love Denny's. It because just, you just get the kidding. Grand Slam and they're basically, okay, tell me all the things you want. We'll, make, we'll call it one meal and you just pay the one price. Because I feel like breakfast and diner food, they often go like, okay, well, the toast is extra. Or like, oh, you want also a waffle? Oh. That's extra money. They didn't give me my single French toast. It's in there. Is it this? No, it's an egg. Why did you get an egg? It's an egg. Why did you do that? I said I need three of orders it? of scrambled eggs, and they gave me one large one and two tiny ones. I don't know what's going on in here. You didn't do Denny's right. I was just like, look, this is a plain pancake. But Denny's, they have like Reese's peanut butter cup pancakes. I didn't know what I was ordering. I just ordered I a bunch of stuff. There's a dog licking my feet. <laughs> Do you want? Did you like? I'm really sad tenders? about your. Oh, tenders. really spicy. Really? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Mm -hmm. I also got your mozzarella sticks. I didn't know if you liked those. I thought maybe you Not would like those. Not my jam. They're just really. they've been on the chicken. So. Uh, but there's marinara for it. I don't like mozzarella sticks. I know. I'm a lunatic. Have you had one? Yeah. I've Have had you had them at Red Robin? I love mm -hmm. a Red Robin. I love a Red Robin. I love Red Robin. They have the best French fries. Fried pickles, totally gluten free fries. Fried zucchini. Also, unlimited food. Yeah. Are you aware of this? Yeah, the unlimited French fries. <laughs> All I know is that at VidCon, I postmated Red Robin and it was so good. I got yeah. a cheeseburger, like a chicken cheeseburger thingy, and also chicken tenders because I love chicken tenders. And these fries French, and. These French fries taste like Arby's. Well, they do. I thought mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. Like the curly no. Denny's. I'm I feel like every time I talk about Denny's, people in Europe don't know what I'm talking about. And they actually, like, I think I've, I've gotten people to, like, people have said to me, I'm going to America soon. <laughs> I can't wait to try Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's not what this is about. <laughs> Diners are just like in America, right? Diners? This isn't like the place you dream of going to someday. No, but it's like kind of gross breakfast food. No, it's the It's when people go and they're solid. drunk in the middle of the night. No, that, I go there all the time. You're what are you always drunk. Me? In the middle of the night, stumbling to Denny's. No, I like that you you can be so satisfied. And you, you're not like stressing about it. Because I feel like if I go to other diner places, I have to do all the add-ons and it ends up being See, like $35. I'm not a fan of diners or Denny's or IHOP because I really don't like breakfast food. No. Yeah, I know you don't. So like literally the only thing I'll eat is the chicken tenders. I know, that's why I got them for you. Like, I mean, it's fine, but I just like don't understand. Like, I think it's so plain. I'm like, I don't understand why people like it. Breakfast for dinner is my default dinner. You know, Not you good. know it's bad because, and simple, because I am I can cook breakfast. You know what's weird is I feel like I'm a pretty good cook. You are. I can't cook breakfast food. Well, cause you want it to be more than it is. I, I try and like pancakes are always terrible. Like, it never works. It's easy. You can't cook a pancake? It doesn't work. Hmm. You're too good to cook breakfast. That's Chris, I like, hate it. Christopher struggled for a very long time to figure out hash browns. Because he yeah, always wanted really to go hard. like the from scratch potato business. And he figured out you have to like squeeze the water out of it. He's very complicated. I watched his hash it's browns. It's like a he, seven hour He vlogged it. He vlogged oh, it one time because he needed to document that he figured it out. Mm -hmm. Well, all I know is that I like hash browns. Cause I like potatoes. And I make a good scrambled, I make good eggs. Like I can make. I feel like if you were to make breakfast, you'd have to make like an eggs benedict. Well now I can make an eggs benedict. That was hey! a struggle. Oh my gosh, you're the best story of life. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it wasn't that. Take it away. <laughs> I was trying to learn how to cook. I was teaching myself how to cook. I was in living New in New York at the time. And I got had a job where I was a nanny <clears throat> and I had to cook from scratch, like all their food, like all organic, everything from scratch. And I, lied when I um, applied for the job and said I was an amazing cook and I didn't know how to cook. So I taught myself how to cook. So I was trying to do as much as I could when I was at home. And so one night I was like, I want to poach an egg. Like this sounds great. So I looked online and it said, how do you poach an egg? You drop an egg in simmering water. Food just fell a lot out of my mouth. <laughs> drop an egg in <laughs> So I put my pot of water on simmer. Cause you know how like the knob says like simmer, medium, low, high. Yeah. Like, so I put it on simmer and of course what you're supposed to do, but didn't say this, it says no. drop it in your That's simmering the water. That is the punchline, you saved that. No, I'm trying to defend myself before. It is defendable because it doesn't make sense. That so I'm calling Jessica and I'm like, I don't understand. Like I'm trying to push an egg, it's not working. I've literally gone through six eggs. <laughs> 
And she goes, is it in simmering water? She is it in simmering water? So picture Colleen with warm water, just cracking eggs and dumping it in there. I was like, just dumping it in the water. And Jessica's like, is it simmering? I was like, yes, it's on simmer. She's like, is it simmering? I was like, yes. She's like, are there bubbles? And there were- I think I said to you, do you know what a simmer looks like? You said it eventually. You said, are there bubbles? And there are, because you know when you put like filtered water in something? Like, yeah. So like, little, I was like, yeah, I guess there's bubbles. Like, I don't know. And then finally she's like, do you know what a simmer looks like? Do you know what it is? And I was like, yeah, it's, I put it on simmer. And she's like, no, you have to boil the water, get the water hot. And no one tells on you simmer. that. These are things you just have to learn by. I, I didn't know first. that. And so I, ha I went through like a dozen eggs. And just a dozen eggs of looking at eggs, not cooking. And not saying maybe it needs to be. No, I was doing different things. So, I, cause there's different <laughs> tricks. Cause I was like, how to perfectly boil a, a poach an egg. And it was like, pour vinegar in the water. <laughs> so I was putting a little play <laughs> teaspoon of vinegar in it. And then I was like, try salting the I water. I would have done the same like, thing. I tried all these different things trying to get the egg. Cause I assumed the water was warm enough. It was like the best conversation of my life though. Because we <laughs> seriously spent like an hour being like, I was like, are you sure? Like what's going on? How could this, it's not that, it's not that And this hard. was before FaceTime when you could like show someone what you were doing. Yeah. Oh, but even this, this is like, a lip waffle. Yeah. Well, it's been oh. sitting. It's been this sitting. This is a lip waffle. I didn't get syrup, I got strawberries. Okay, I like a waffle crisp on the outside and like air on the inside. Well, then you shouldn't Some get it at Denny's. This, no, <laughs> Denny's is a good waffle. It we has been do. sitting and that's okay. I mean, maybe this does feel a little thick. Like it's a Belgian waffle. I, it's like an ego. I got egos. Do you want an ego? No, I'm excited. I was just a little surprised. It was so it's weird. okay. Do you like that pancake? No. <laughs> Don't eat it! I'm trying to like eat more because it's a mukbang and I only I know, but all I can eat are potato products. Do you want my strawberry syrup? So what did you do? You can't eat pancakes. I ate okay. hash browns and uh, fries. You're the worst person to do a mukbang. I am! I'm the worst person to do a mukbang! Because you can't eat syrup. anything. I wasn't going to not get syrup? You just got syrup. I have syrup. Yeah, I'll grab it. I'll get it. Talk amongst yourselves. Is this a hamburger bun? No, no it's a gluten-free. Gluten -free. I don't know why it's English there. Muffin. Why isn't it with Bailey? She gave us extra, that was nice. Aww. It's probably in the pantry. Oh, I was gonna be in the fridge. You guys were not talking amongst yourselves no, when I left. Like, imagine being on a phone for, with somebody for like a, for an actual hour while they're just dumping <laughs> no, we could eggs not in the water out. with vinegar in it. <laughs> like just raw eggs in water. Like you just must have raw eggs in water. Raw water. Egg water. Hey, congrats to you for sticking with it. I would not I know, give so, up. So I was so determined. And poached eggs aren't, they aren't easy to do. Because if like you drop it in and like, cause now I make them, I make, um, big eggs in a dish. I don't know how to put it. And if it gets stuck on the bottom and like then you try to scoop it out and like breaks, like that can happen. You a have lot. to make a vortex. I know. A vortex. Like, you, yeah, you have to like spin the water. See, it's like a thing. Like there's That's a lot thing. that goes into it. Like to spin the water. Is our poke change even good to eat? They're delicious. They're are, is that what's an egg Benedict egg? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, it is good. But eggs make me and sick now. I've never had the ham kind because I've, I've never eaten like. I always get it with ham. avocado. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Good. It's way better. Can you eat any eggs or just not uncooked egg? Um, no, like if I ate scrambled eggs, I would feel sick. I thought it was just when the white part is a You know what's fully. interesting? You mean is that she, she can eat eggs. Yeah, I just have a hurt, my stomach hurts all day. She doesn't want to. She's got an aversion to it, but pregnant people can eat eggs. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, Like she has like an egg allergy me. before Like, like pregnancy. Pregnancy. I don't know what it is, but before, like my, basically from college on, like if I eat any kind of an egg, unless it's like in cookies or like in a pie. Baked eggs are fine. No, because like, well, no, because like scrambled eggs, like it makes me That's sick. cooked egg. I'm saying baked when it's baked. It sounds like an aversion. I literally have no, there was one time a painful stomach cramps like all day. When we like, thought she wasn't gonna get off the flight. Like, can eat it as an ingredient? I get like blazing diarrhea, like all day, pain, stomach cramps Let's all day long. Let's test it. But how do you, no, we're not gonna test it. <laughs> the only time, the only time that it went away was when I was in Canada. Oh yeah, but you were already telling me that. I would eat poached eggs in Canada and I'd be okay. So, so I oh, that smells so bad, that when smells you, like a When farm. you buy an egg, do you get like a farm raised egg? Like a high quality egg? So maybe That's probably try that, because Canada probably has. But I don't love eggs enough to like care. So I like, just like don't eat them. Try my mom's eggs one day. Her chicken's eggs. No, don't take an egg out of mom. I don't really like eggs that much anyway, but like when I have eaten them, like I get the rest of the day, I'm like very, very sick. You know what, if you're not gonna eat these strawberries, I'll eat these strawberries. Well, actually I did a 50-50. Well, I'm gonna eat some of these strawberries. Yeah. So I did like, I wanted to try the syrup, and then I wanted to try the strawberry. Cause when I went to IHOP, sorry, I ate IHOP more than Denny's as a child. You I loved IHOP. I got the really tooty fresh and fruity with strawberries on the side, and I would just eat the strawberries by themselves. I my hate the strawberries in the syrup. I love the strawberries. It's so much sugar. It's delicious. It's all about the fresh strawberries. See, 
I always think that I want like waffles and strawberry and whipped cream, but I it's always I want. want syrup. I and they it don't too. go well together. They like they're. Dead. I don't like syrup. I really what are like you saying? <laughs> I'm saying the words that I said. I don't You're like lying. syrup. I'm not lying. I don't like syrup. No, you know, breakfast was a really true. good choice for this. You don't like eggs or any food. You don't eat eggs. You, you don't, don't eat like anything. Rachel doesn't eat anything. I am eating some bread. strawberries right now. Yeah, they gave me toast with no jam. No, no jam. No, no jam. Do you have There's jam? There's ketchup. There's no, but I was, I was planning on that. Ch Cholula is my jam. Let me see if there's any in her fridge. And I was thinking about like making an egg a waffle or something. For right now? Yeah. Not, I've got a waffle. No, I'm right. not eating a soggy cold waffle. I'm not. I'll happy. take a waffle. So check that date. 2020. Open it and look at it too. No, so you like you see something bad. Do bad. you see something bad? <laughs> I don't know. It's a little <laughs> preserved. Right. It's like, does it go bad? It spread. Preserving something works as long as you like don't break the seal. But when you break the seal, it the next starts. Did you know it that can they start going bad? But I, I don't know how long it takes. My dad told me this. He met a guy that worked for like bagging chips, like that companies that bag chips, and they poke tiny, tiny holes in the bags of chips so that they'll expire, so that people have to buy more or else they would never expire because they seal the bags with and like- How do you explain like that there's no holes in bags? It's such a small, but they like, like, like minuscule. Like yeah, I know. They poop in an airplane or something. I don't know. Right? They're so minuscule that like the air doesn't get, but it's still like stuff. We gotta check in. Snopes. We gotta do some fact checking on this business. Oh, oh. You don't know what Snopes is? No, it's no. So you just believe everything on the internet? Yes, that's what the internet's for. <laughs> so Snopes is the place when you're like, hmm, this seems like a controversial discussion. You can go and they'll fact check it. They go like, this article is wrong because- Oh, that's like, cool. well, see. How do you notice trust Snopes? They show sources. And then you can look at see at the sources. Wikipedia source. shows sources. <sighs> you're right, just skip Snopes <laughs> and believe everything. I don't believe everything. <laughs> oh, my brownie. I did not buy you a brownie. No, she oh, she outsourced. <laughs> she outsourced all this mukbang. What's the difference between a fruit spread and a preserve? I feel like that's tricky. Like the jam jelly, I think that there is an actual like jam and jelly. Yeah. They have like a processing element that turns it into one or the other. Okay. But I don't know. You look like a gremlin just now. Well, is your brownie good? Yeah, the first one I had was a butt, but I wanted a gut. Mmm, I understand. It's different. It's a different taste. What was wrong with it? Nothing was wrong with it. It was two different flavors. One was a butt, one, one was a gut. One was a gut. It There's different eating a butt and it was like hard. But I, I love the butts. I have just eaten yeah, so much food. By like themselves, I, like I want the butt. If it's like with ice cream on top, I want the gut. Did you guys okay. <laughs> plan these drinks out? No, we just grabbed those grab before them. we filmed. Before, that's what I said. You, plan you thought about it. Do you want me to get you I, something? No, don't get me anything. I just like was thinking about how much she, I'd eaten. She got one and got then I went, while well, you were peeing, and then I went, I should get one too. So I dispelled liquid. By the way, you were, yeah, you were getting rid of it. We before the comments it. come for me, this is caffeine free. Also, hush. Just hush. I'm already you getting caffeine one. You're not supposed to have that much time. You're basically not supposed to have anything or do anything. Oh my gosh, I actually had my, my favorite comment ever was on the gymnastics video. When they say I'm not supposed to do gymnastics. <laughs> There's that all over, but one person actually said, what are you doing? You're pregnant. You're supposed to only be lying down and resting. <laughs> That's it. I was like, oh my gosh, where were you on my fourth pregnancy? <laughs> What? Also the opposite of what the doctors tell you. Like the literal <laughs> opposite. The doctor's like, you need to exercise. Like, you gotta move well, around. Also like, no one has ever, I, I, I was on bed rest. Because you that, had things. And then you didn't, you weren't supposed to like move around. Yeah. But like in general, no pregnant woman has ever been banned to from moving. moving. From moving. <laughs> Unless it was a medical necessity. I'm just like prepared for it. Like so far all I've seen is like positive, really sweet people. Everyone's got an opinion. I've seen positive sweet people and a lot of like, moms who already have had kids who are like rude about they're always they're like rude. oh you you're in pain now just you wait and i'm like <sighs> how is that helpful like Who's how that, that why nice? why do they need to say that it's not like oh well it's so hard yeah i know but like like jessica's good at that jessica's good at being like it's gonna get really really hard when you know you get to this many months and you're going through this just be prepared like she like is it kind yeah. about it whereas like there's people online who like 
Oh, honey, you think you're peeing a lot now? Just you wait till it's kicking your bladder. Like, like they're trying to make you feel stupid that, for your nice. Like, how is that helpful now. at all? Like, yeah, that will suck too. But I'm allowed to say this part sucks. Yeah, just because that part sucks doesn't mean that this part still doesn't suck. Uh, so that's been weird. But but I know that like now that it's out there that I'm pregnant, I'm gonna get a lot of opinions on like. So also, you doing. absolutely will because you're like the internet. But also, that's pregnant. all pregnant women and all moms of new know, babies, it's and it's worst. so sad. Yeah. It's so sad and so messed up. And it's like the last people who need people being aggressive and rude to them. Yeah, yeah. you're they're, going they're through like, a lot. Just instead, nurture that person and offer assistance. Yeah. There you go. That's that's I the know. alternative. I feel really lucky because I've I've only had like everyone around me has been really sweet and supportive, and like I have like. Obviously you guys, but as far as like women who are pregnant or moms, like Jessica, Tini, and my mom, have all been like supportive, like whatever you need, whatever you're going through is valid. And like, you know, like, and no one's made me feel stupid or bad about yeah. like what I've experienced or what my choices are. And like, it's like, no one has any idea how hard it is, like until you go through it. Yeah, I don't know how hard some it is, people, it sounds not, terrible. Like some people, like, I have a friend who said that like, she has not had a single symptom and she's, Two months ahead of me, not one the whole time. Rude. Aunt Cindy, when I called Aunt Cindy and told her, yeah, she's like, "Are you feeling okay?" And I was like, "I'm just now starting to feel better. I've been really, really sick." She's like, "I didn't have any symptoms. I just didn't like being pregnant because I felt fat." But like, she's I like, love I literally her. Didn't have a single symptom. Like I was never nauseous. That's rude. Well, no, I'm happy for her. I'm happy like, that's for amazing. Her. That's rude. No, she wasn't being rude to you. I'm saying no, it's rude no, that she no. didn't have to go through it. No, I'm so happy that she didn't have to. Like, I'm happy for anyone who doesn't have to go through it. And there's some women who are like way worse than me, like in the hospital oh, yeah. the whole time. So, and like mine is even that bad. Like, I was nauseous every day, but like I never threw up. Which That's is, like, so my weird. Was that frustrating though? That you want? Oh, because you don't. No, you I hate throwing up. I avoid up. it. Like when I feel nauseous, I'm like, I just want to throw up and get it over with and feel better. Oh, I've thrown up in my mouth and swallowed it. You're disgusting. <laughs> I won't let it happen. We did get a text one day at like 11 p.m. You're like, I just woke up in the middle of the night, vomited, and then went back to sleep. It was at VidCon. Yeah. Yeah, you were like, I, I, my favorite was that you said you woke up in the middle of the night. You were like, I 11. just woke up in the middle of the night to vomit in my mouth and swallow it. And I'm also up still. Yeah, I'm like, I was, I like, I was not, I wasn't doing too great at VidCon, but I literally, I remember I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't feel good. And I threw up in my mouth, I swallowed it, and then I was like, cool. Just my body woke me up just to vomit in my mouth, just to go back to sleep. I like, much rather spit out the vomit than swallow it. Well, it doesn't like, it's not like if I'm mouth full of vomit. No, it's like, like the, you're not prepared for it. Like if you got like vomit. Well, I would at least like, keep oh, it in my mouth knows. and spit it. Oh. I guess if you just want to go back to sleep. No, it wasn't. I don't. I feel like if I spit it, if I go near a toilet, it's over. Yeah. Like once you smell the toilet water, done. Yeah, and your you body's like, I know what this is. I could go right now over to the toilet and just smell it, and I would throw up instantly. <laughs> like instantly, I'd throw up. Um, I threw up, I think one time, like every pregnancy, like basically the same feeling Colleen always felt, except I would have yeah. triggers. So, uh, um, brushing so you teeth, would, like, brushing my teeth, you put your head in the toilet. <laughs> Not do that, <laughs> but brushing my teeth and particularly at the end of brushing my teeth, I always brush my tongue and that was the thing that would just like do me in. Yeah. So the times when I threw up were like all over my toothbrush. But I would like throwing up <laughs> to me in my experience, probably <laughs> <laughs> in my experience <laughs> though, like I know everyone's different, but like in my experience, throwing up like wouldn't have really made a difference anyway. The nausea yeah. is so bad, it doesn't matter. Like the nausea is just like crippling. Like you can't get, you can't move, you just want to cry. I've witnessed like, you it's being horrible. crippled. So like, that's what I was gonna say when it Rachel was like, matter. throw up just to get it over with. It like, doesn't work like that. that that's that's the whole thing about the first trimester when you have nausea, is there's no getting over it. It just happens. It's just like, Oh, I'm going to feel awful, and then tomorrow I'll feel awful, and you feel like you have the flu, like you feel as bad as when you're just gonna throw up when you're sick. Yeah. But you don't get any work off. You don't get a lot of sympathy. You get people going, oh, it's morning sickness, or if you're trying to keep it a secret. Oh yeah. Can't you can't or you say, get people being sick. like, oh, just you wait. Did you know that Denny's is on Tumblr? I'm not. Are you leaving? Hey, Eric. You want some? Where are you going? To the grocery store. Yeah, it's very gross yeah, now. What do you want? What this, you it's going? never been gross. English? Oh. He's giving me that footage. Where are you going? Does this mean I've mukbang? You've mukbang! <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my god. <laughs> Tell him I'm right I've asked you 70 times! I'm gonna make cat food for you. Aww, I'll go. <laughs> we can wrap this up if you want to go. I think we've mukbanged the bang. Yeah, we're trying to figure out why there's one chunk okay. of something yeah, in here. It's, it's a like strawberry a chunk. chunk. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. okay, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> Let me get it out. Give it to me. Wait. Oh, okay. okay. We're doing science over here, you guys. Sorry. Who's what? <laughs> We're trying to. Is Ew, what is that? Is that a raisin? All right, I'm I, trying to clean up. I think we're, we're done. Clean up in mukbangs? No, no, you don't clean up in mukbangs. Say mukbang. Yeah, you can say mukbang. I was not, I read it mukbang, and then I read it mukbang. mukbang, and I was like, I read it as mukbang. I don't know what it is. All right, but I think that's gonna be it for today. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I hope that I fed you properly. I mean, you got two chicken tenders and some French know, fries. But don't worry, I eat every hour, so yeah, I'll find I figured something. you were gonna be okay. I could do a shout out. Sorry, guys, you're gonna sit here while I do a shout out. How would you pronounce that? M Matt. It's Matt? Matthew. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Matt. It's okay, that's pretty. M at Matt. Matt doesn't do that. <laughs> Matt does not <laughs> do that. No. Uh, thank you so much for retuning my last video. I love you guys. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Go check out Jessica's channel. Go check out Colleen's channel. You know the things that we say. All right. Love you guys. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.